It has been nearly a century since plastic was invented as a viable source used to manufacture industrial products. The rapid growth of plastic, however, has resulted in the corresponding growth in waste plastic with increasing environmental problems. Common waste plastic includes plastic bags, food and beverage containers, and packaging materials. Since waste plastic is almost non-biodegradable, it becomes a serious problem in highly populated urban areas in almost every part of the world. Today, the questions of how to eliminate the environmental damage caused by waste plastic and how to turn it into a reusable resource has gained increasing importance in public discussion. Plastic Advanced Recycling Corporation is a full-service solution provider for technology that converts waste plastic to commercially viable fuel products, including gasoline and diesel. As the holder of a U.S. patent for the waste-to-fuel conversion process, we have more than a decade of experience in research and engineering. We currently have two fully operational facilities processing waste plastic in China near Shanghai and two facilities under construction in Beijing. Now, let me guide you through the plastic to fuel process and how it works. Waste plastic is collected from garbage sorting plants, paper mills that take waste paper as raw materials and other recycling companies. Before being processed in the reactor, waste plastic is shredded and dried. The impurities such as paper and metal are sorted out from the plastic through the sorting system. After being dried and sorted, waste plastic goes into the plastic to fuel process. A single plastic to fuel conversion equipment can process up to 10,000 tons of waste plastic annually, generating 5,000 tons of mixed fuel. The feeding system transfers 30 tons of waste plastic into the reactor per day. After measurement, the automatic hydraulic feeder continuously pushes the plastic into the reactor. With the catalyst added, the reactor will crack down any types of plastic and convert them into a mixture of fuel gas, heavy oil, and solid residue. The mixture then goes to the filtering and discharging system. After being separated by the filter, fuel gas is condensed to liquid fuel in the condenser. The liquid fuel and heavy oil is pumped into storage tanks. It can be further refined in the refining kettle into gasoline and diesel. Part of the fuel gas cannot be condensed. This non-condensable gas is sent back to the furnace as heat. Solid residue is collected by the vacuum for further use as building materials. Our zero pollution conversion technology provides a practical solution to the increasing environmental issues caused by waste plastic. With our business experience, advanced technology and operational facilities, we have taken on a leadership position in the U.S. and abroad for a brighter and greener future.